Glitz, glamour, showbiz. Just some of the words I could use if this weren't the Greens National Conference. It's been a tough year for the Greens. The drop in the youth vote, the conflict with Lee Rhiannon and the loss of two senators when it turned out they were about as Australian as a Kiwi in a Mountie outfit. <laughs> the last election also saw the Greens go backwards in parliamentary representation for the first time since 1998. In fact, I don't think the Greens could have done any worse than if they'd gotten behind the wheel of a gas-guzzling Humvee and accidentally backed over David Attenborough. So, to make sure the Greens don't celebrate anything here at their national conference, I've come down to Hobart to present them with some harsh truths and give them the kick up the ass they need if they want to make it as a political party in 2018. Welcome, welcome. It's gonna be a big weekend. Just trying to get you like the other parties, you know. Help me help you guys. It's all well and good having these hippie ideologies and a tattoo of Captain Planet spooning some kale, but things aren't always perfect. Sometimes your ideals are going to clash. If I can make just one Greens member realise that, maybe they'll be more realistic, grittier politicians. It was time to take a tough love approach with the Greens pollies. First up, make me care about your policies. Uh, I'm working a full-time job, I've got three kids to feed, I'm struggling to afford childcare and pay the rent. Make me care about the Great Barrier Reef and go. Look, uh, if mom, you, why are you do you love your kids? Uh, Pushed up housing mom, prices uh, are the worst. I've got three children mom, myself. Mom, but I can't, time's up. None of what you said mattered to me. Oh well. If you're going to be in politics, you've got to be prepared to make some tough decisions. An out of control train is heading down a track. You can pull a lever so it forks right yep. and kills Elon Musk, or it forks the other direction and kills the last born in orangutan in existence. So what do you do? Oh my good God. Well, it's not gonna happen, so I think that's the answer. Stand there paralyzed with indecision. To ever have real power, they'll have to give up on the moral high ground and make some low deals. <laughs> Preference deal with One Nation. How low will you go? <laughs> Accept donations from the Bolt Report. Yep, yep, he's going low. <laughs> negotiate with the Libs. Will you do it? Will you negotiate with them? <laughs> oh, nah, come on. Pick up the game, guys. I was getting nowhere chatting to the punters. It was time to pay big dog Dina Tale a visit. You guys seen Richard? You seen Richard? Has anyone seen Richard? I've got something for Richard. I got. He's gone out. Out the. Uh, okay. But I've been searching for you everywhere, and finally I get to sit down with you. I really wanted to give you this. <laughs> the it'll be okay -el survival kit, just in case things get a little bit difficult. What's in it? Some temporary tattoos right before press conferences, so All you right. can be more down with the kids. We've got these slogan makers. Right now we're sitting on real change for a change. <laughs> What you really need to do is just pop them around, change them up. So yeah, you have a go, have a practice. All right, how about this? Racist, communist pandas. Now that's a demographic no one's talking to. So this one is a oh, fake knife. It's sort of to practice the art of backstabbing. <laughs> also, it can double for a shiv when you're in jail for a dani. The most important thing a political party needs is a thick skin, and the Greens don't have one. It was time to toughen them up. I think coal is good for humanity. <laughs> Dolphins are shit. Your mum's lasagna sucks. All right. right out. Nick off. Okay, yep, Bloody yep, ABC. going, going. Piss off. Oh. I lost my croc. <laughs> no need to arrest anyone. All right. Bloody tree-hugging, bleeding-heart lunatics. Jesus. 